Now, this is a Lunar Roadstar TI. I can't see the prices and the specs at the moment, so I'll have a look at that later. But there's a lovely big seating area here. Nice and open. This is obviously in its day position, so there's quite a bit of space there. Partition here to partition it off. Hanging space. Cooker, electric hot plate. Smaller fridge. And a washroom. A bowl. Oops. And the shower. Star four berths, two seat belts, and it's 3,800 and it's 7.68 meters long on a Renault. It's nice. Do you want to have a look in? Yeah, that's fine. Things. Well, it's things. this TV bracket, so yeah. it comes out. So yeah, you can... you can turn it round so you can watch it in the driver's seat. Yeah, Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, or you or from there, you sit here. Yeah. They're quite comfortable, quite nice. They're a nice length. They're sculpted, aren't they? Well, yeah. They're quite upright, don't they? Yeah. They're Do they about... feel alright? The lumbar support. Yeah, but the seat is nice. Yeah, they're lowish, aren't they? Yeah. So, a reasonable height. I'm sure about these, they seem a bit hard. Well, the important seat. Yeah, the important seat seems a bit. But it hugs you. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite nice. Sometimes it doesn't matter about the cushioning so much when no. you're driving. It depends on the springing on the van. Yeah, yeah. Because nice. you've got springs in the van as, as well. Oh, it's quite nice. And the yeah. bed at the back. Yeah, that's in its daytime position. Mm. So TV you could just use it as a well. Yeah, there's a TV in the back as well. Yeah, yeah. So it's a sort of a very similar layout to ours, apart from the bed. Yeah, yeah. Apart from the bed and apart from the fact that the bathroom's there. Yeah. And the kitchen's on the side. Apart from that. Apart from that, it's exactly the And apart the same. from the fact it's on a Renault and not a Fiat. <laughs> Nothing really. It's a similar length. Yeah, we're getting silly now. <laughs> oh, it was Harrogate, wasn't it? That it was, one? Yeah, Harrogate, yeah. yeah. So yeah. if you really want to shower. Outside. Outside. Yeah. yeah. Another one here. Yeah. We want to see. But it does allow you to see the, the bathroom, doesn't it? Lots of little sort of spaces to hang, to put things. Places for your toiletries. Yeah. And your gas lockers at the back here, isn't it? Yeah. And the doors fold all the way back. Yeah. So it's a land star. The same uh, electric pump point that we've got. Mm. Nice big entrance step. Big sofa. Yeah, nice big long sofa. So as that pulls together with this. Small no. size bed. Well I could sleep there and you could well, you could sleep on here. You <laughs> <laughs> could sleep on that bit. Yeah. I think this this must come out. There's yeah. a little catch there. Do you see the catch? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that probably pulls across. Very clever. And it pulls across and that you've obviously got a cushion that you put in there. Yeah. And I suppose at a pinch you could just still about get just about get out, couldn't you? Yeah, that's always the thing you've got to get out with yeah. Adam, you? Yeah. During the night. I think I'll just let her out on her lead. Look at her now. She's filthy, absolutely filthy. 
I don't know. <laughs> anyway, back to the van. <laughs> Work surface. Work surface. Big lockers. These are motorhome size lockers here, you know. Mm. Very nice, aren't they? Finish yeah. Which seems like a reasonable size fridge in a camper van, but it seems like a small fridge in a motorhome. Yeah. Electric hot plate, grill and oven. Decent sink. Cupboards. This must be a hanging space. Yeah, there's a place to store your carpets here. And a, a table or not. Can't see where the, yeah, the table bits appear to be in here. I don't know where the oh, yeah, table might be here table probably yeah table goes in its separate a separate cupboard yeah. with a spare cushion <laughs> that must be your cushions this bed I yeah, always like to see USBs there's a place for your telly cutlery drawer yeah I like this a lot Mercedes. Seems yeah. to be quite a, a big gap in the gangway for some sort of these vans. Well, tight, yeah, it? yeah. I mean, it's it's quite reasonable width between the two for a camper van. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And obviously, your bathroom on the back there. Yeah. I think we looked at this before, didn't we? We so only looked briefly at Harrogate. Yeah, yeah. Like couldn't get in it, could we, at Harrogate? No. no. Yeah. This is a lunar, I've got to get this wrong now, isn't it? It's a lunar Landstar EWS. End washroom. End washroom. Hey, that'll be the EWS then. And the price 59965. Boost you have. Range Master 99 Wi Fi. Let's have a look. Poor internet coming in yeah. to the reception. It's not going to do you're only going to boost. Well, that, that's always my sort of doubt about uh, getting a boosted Wi Fi. Yeah. If, you, if you can get free Wi Fi and there's no one else on it, it, it's going yeah, it, I mean the thing is, is it's what that initial yeah what the initially is coming in yeah. I mean if you could the the option with that it does a five kilometer range so yeah. if it is that it's busy and it's slow yeah. then the other option is to search that five kilometers and maybe pick up the local pub or something that's offering yeah. you know and gives you an option so better option. if you're wild camping then really yeah, I mean, yeah. the thing yeah. is it's there's always going to be some majority of the time there's Wi-Fi within that five kilometer yeah. range yeah. you know are you on BT at home no no, no. you see. No. Some people use the BT hotspots yeah, and boost for the sky, well. the, the sky yeah, hotspots as well. So, yeah. I mean, it picks up all of that. Once yeah. you've done that five kilometre range, then it gives you yeah. the full list, and then you can right. choose and you get the option to do it. Okay. Like I say, I was always a little bit doubtful. So this is the range master. Yes. So you, you, that fits in your van somewhere. Yeah, so basically this goes on the outside. Yeah. Um, comes with a little sucker, five yeah. meter cable yeah. into the router, into which that. is inside the van, which is yeah. 12 volt and 240. Yeah. Once that's powered up, then all you do is you open up the IP address, which gives you the software, yeah. and then tells the antenna to do the search. Once it's done the search, it gives you a list of everything that's available. And then you log it into whatever. And that's it. All right, okay. All right. So it's quite simple to use. Oh, yes. Definitely. All right, that's All brilliant. Right. Thanks Thank a lot you. then. All sorts of lovely cakes here. Oh, stop it. Very tempting. Bags. Bags for everything. Yeah, it was the gate. We filmed that last year, didn't we? Yeah. They, they do the gates. Alien would be interested in that. And the harnesses as well. So 
this is K9 gates. They started with gates, but they've got a lot of the Kong toys and things like that, and harnesses <laughs> and, and bones and things that Poppy's very interested in. Yeah. Can help yourself in a minute, not yeah. <laughs> Someone else is interested in it as well. Yeah. That's what I really want, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to sell the motor and I'll get it. Another deck chair. There's a road pro. Oh, yeah, smart Smart trends. Yeah. There's Mike. Right. Yeah, that's good. It's got the telescopic legs. No, but we're very, very happy. And, um, I wasn't telling you to no, no. ask you for anything no, no. at all. I understand that, but definitely that any, any query, yeah. let me know. That's it. Powder coated, so it's been bead blasted first yeah, yeah. before we powder coat it to yeah. try and keep the finish on there as long as possible. Yeah. And a phosphorus finish on these and the legs, on the on the cams and the legs themselves. Yeah. So. Yeah. Looking good. Made yeah. in Britain. Yeah. These bins done. And yeah. They're going slowly at the moment. Yeah. Um, then probably we'll arrange for you to have a new bar with those bins. Yeah. And you've got your, your trailers here as well. well. This is a used one we brought up, so yes, yeah. the gentleman's looking to buy it. Yeah. But I get a lot of people and they're like, oh, I'm thinking about buying a trailer. You know, yeah. they, they scare themselves by the internet into thinking a trailer's necessary. Yeah. Yeah. So I only need one for a panda, I don't need one that big. Well, that no. is the trailer for that panda. Yeah, wow. we were surprised you know. when we were thinking. Well, yeah, that's where we started, yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah I've never, I've never fit that many garage. No. <laughs> the road pro stand. Have a look. Nope, oh, sorry. That's very much like our one. I think it's a, I think it's a bit smaller than the one we've got. That's a fake demo one, isn't it? An automatic. I think ours is a bit. Well, someone was asking, yeah, couldn't, couldn't remember what it is. It's Y World. But ours is a little bit wider than that, and perhaps a little bit flatter. But that's a port Is that a portable one? Yes. Yeah, so, so that's a portable one. So it's not, it wouldn't be that. No. Let's have a quick look. So there's a, those are 11 kilogram bottles. They're bigger than what we normally have. Mm. Those are more like the ones we'd have. They're six. They're six, yeah. Are we seven? Oh, yeah, we're oh. seven. Yeah, so they'd be, or you, you could just go for the six kilogram one. Most, most 170 pounds. The West Valley events. Columbus. What was it 640 we were looking for? It's got the fridge here. Yeah. It's the fridge. That's great, isn't it? This weather. <laughs> it is. <'cause>, yeah. <laughs> And then inside, if you go for the 641, you're going to get a little bit more room in your bathroom. Yeah. And then you're going to have a twin configuration bed. So if you think of the letter E, that's why it's yeah. an E configuration. You've got that bit yeah. there. And then you've got the cross bit. And you can get an insert so you can sleep width ways as well. Right, okay. As length ways. So they, they widen the back there so it's a bit wider than the, the width of the normal van. Because they've got like a cutout on there. You've got, if you see the recesses at the back, yeah. they use that in the length of the bed. Right. So you can get 197 centimetres of yeah. crossways, which right. in some vans, because of the insulation and what they use yeah. for the materials, you actually shorten the length of it. Whereas right. this, they've actually been able to make sure that they can yeah. use the whole use depth. the whole width of it. Exactly. The whole yeah. Length of the van. And these seats look great. They are very comfy. <laughs> Do you mind? If I... Go, go for it. Help yourself. That's fine. The seat bench that you're sitting on, you have the option to have a bed behind. Yeah. That particular seat bench, you can have. This is the large version, so it's 111 centimeters, yeah. 110 centimeters. Then yeah. you can have a 90 centimeter version as well. Right. So it's more living area here. Yeah. Okay. And then the 601D, yeah. which is very similar, it's always the narrow bench because yeah. you can get a larger fridge down here. Right. So it just allows you a bit more travelling room throughout yeah. the van. Yeah. Right. So at the moment you've just, you've got the drawers, haven't you? And exactly. That the cupboard there the is an optional. Yeah. So you don't have to have it. No. If you want it, great. If you don't, it's just work top space. Right. Yeah. That's good.
more cupboards the better. Absolutely. But, yeah. the bed on the back of that one. Let's turn around. So this particular bench will come forward. Yeah. Opens up so like it's a, a bit like a rock and roll bed then? Yeah, yeah. essentially. It's very similar. I, yeah. I, I used to yeah. term it like a butterfly wings. Okay. Because it just Well, this bit comes out. up here. It folds forward yeah. and that bit unfolds the bed mattress. Right. You use the round turned passenger yeah, seat. for your feet. Yeah. And then uh, it all comes into place. It hooks yeah. into place. In so if you were carrying something in the back there, then obviously you could use this as a bed yeah, as well. Yeah, in theory yeah. you could. Alternatively, if there's just one of you, you could put one of the bench boards back yeah. at the back on this particular model. Yeah. And one of them would secure into the loop in the, the top there. Yeah. Which means you can have a single bed and extra oh. storage behind it. It's a leveling system. Mm. The air suspension. And uh, for the video of the jacks working, you can. You know what, sorry? Hydraulic jacks. Yeah, 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 go on. Let's go for it. This is a self leveling system. Yes, right? it is, yeah. Right. Quite wide feet, aren't they? Yes, it is, yeah. I tend to have the feet, well, normally you can all the bottom of your tyre. Yeah. So you can never actually see if you do that back end up to the front. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> you want to get bogged in, do you? Yeah, no. 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 That's a good thing about having, having the, the yeah. wide feet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. messing about with chops with this yeah no there's no need i mean people, some people have them yeah but we 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 fit this and we don't yeah. supply chocks because there's no there's no need we always say no if you're not going to put your tire in it don't no. put jacks in it <laughs> no can you change your wheel with it yes i'll show you that now oh what? <laughs> I've got manual mode i'll show you i'll show you yeah. on the rear end yeah So if you have a blowout or anything like this, this could be invaluable, wouldn't it? Yes, yeah, so we always see that. Yeah. So one, one benefit of this is that even your front end, you can raise it all the way up, tire yeah. off, tire on, yeah. no matter where you are. Do you know what yeah. I mean? You don't yeah. have to have all jacks down. No. It's a manual mode, and you just you operate you that. You think? Yeah. So that's obviously that's manual off, yeah. manual on. You've got lights yeah. there, and then that's telling you now that it's not level at the front because yeah. obviously your back end is yeah. yeah. as high as it can go. Yeah. That's tank tilt. Yeah, so you can empty so your tank drain, properly. Yeah, so yeah. it goes one side. Um, yeah. Obviously, the, the work in pairs, so you can operate your rear on it together, yeah. like I've just done, your front yeah. together, yeah. your right side together, yeah. and your, your left side together. So right, it's okay. Really good or just automatic and level. Yeah, and then out yeah. manual mode, so out of manual yeah. mode, and then. Yeah. And it just levels it up. And well, that's it retracting now. Yeah. See, so you've done changing the tyre or you yeah. wanted to go. Yeah. Right. Yeah, is there any limit to the size yeah. or? No, no. I think I've just seen it. it says up to 22 tons. Yeah, yeah, I think well, that might do it. Yeah, well, well, well. <laughs> we're never, you're never going to get anything that's. Uh, no, I mean, we we'll no. fit them on uh, your mobile banks. Yeah. Um, we fit them. We've got a contract with uh, ITN ITV. Right. Yeah. Um, and uh, East Midlands Ambulance Service. Right. So yeah, they're, they're a good bit of kit. That's your. Yeah. Yeah. That's your. Um, and that's your motor, box. isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So, so that sits in a spare bit of space at the back of the yeah, motor. Yeah, it goes. You can either have it in your garage or a locker, yeah, or yeah. you can go if, if customers don't want it in a garage or locker because of space. Yeah. We can mount it underneath your vehicle. Yeah. And then in a waterproof plastic box. Right. Um, and then you have all your pipes in. We never have it lower than your lowest point no. in the vehicle, so it'll no. never catch. No. Um, but it's a good bit of kit. Yeah, yeah. yeah you've got absolutely. Your, yeah, there's a reservoir for yeah. your Yeah. I mean, I've seen people on site using this yeah. this system, but never really sort of got up close. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's what's good about this demo. You can actually, you can physically see everything. Yeah. So it's, it's, yeah. it's good to have as well. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's a good bit of kit. A bit get some funny looks driving this down the road, don't you? Yeah, we do. Yeah, <laughs> uh, no, we we'll do. We we'll do. Oh, never mind. So this is a Coral 670 SL Plus. It's an Adria. Anyway. So you step and uh, lights. Just inside the door, you know, INET Truma there. 
little L shaped lounge and it's got this soft effect looks like leather but it's not it's just like a I don't know what you'd call it Alcantara 66,000 it's about a similar price to that Heimer fan yeah. fan yeah yeah so we've got combi oven three burner inline grill good size sink nice size shower and a decent double single bed thing with the middle bit not a lot of them seem to have these days that's poppy's area in the middle there so that closes off again you've got space in there space in there here i am reasonable wash space so that's good because as well as you can still close off shower in privacy look at these big headrests I like this <laughs> oh yeah these seats are very comfy And the thing with the motorhome travel seats is you always end up with the most uncomfortable seats don't they? and these are nicely sprung mm. and very supportive yeah. not sure about the little dicky seat there but it's somewhere else to sit i suppose what people would do is they sit on there what the guy was saying before is you could sit here and you could just sort of admire the scenery can't you yeah yeah, that's true. Yeah. You can. Do you want to have a sort look? of bed, is it? Sort of bed. I'm going to have to have a look. I'll have a look, right. So it's still got quite a useful garage space as well. Do you think we'll ever get you out of here now? No, <laughs> it's very comfortable in here. Jenny's just installed herself in there. <laughs> it's a bit cooler here as well. This seat, you know, you're saying it's not much of a seat, but it's very nice. Yeah. Big sunroof, look at the big sunroof up there. It's two sunroofs, aren't there? Yeah. One at the front, one in the middle. That's a I huge. I think that's why it's nice sitting here. You feel yeah. almost like you're sitting outside. It's yeah. Uh, yeah. strange. Strange? strange? Not strange. I mean, it's nice. It's nice, yeah. What do you think about the bed? Um. Well, Don't like beds. it's the fact that it's up two steps, but yeah. it seems light in there. It's okay, boys. I think sometimes when you go in those ones with the with the high up beds they yeah. feel so dark yeah we really like these don't we the auction show and that's 2017 short wheel base look at the wheels supply unit at the back there combi oven under there and domestic fridge and double seat there isn't it so presumably you can leave the driver's seat in place and turn those two around, turn those two around yeah there's a big uh, pop-up roof and storage underneath I like the colour Have a look. Whoop. Oh, 
Is that you, Poppy? Hey, hey, get, get out. Come on, you're not supposed to be in here. Jump on, boy. You showed you should get in here. You did, yeah. Proves the point. Yeah, we saw you at the Yorkshire show. Mm. And I thought they were really nice fans. Is it new company? Um, Redline as a company yeah. um, have been going, um, founded, I think it's October of last year. I thought you were going to say but, 1905. No, no, or no, 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 October last year. Yeah. Ooh, good. But the yeah. conversions, yeah. Um, Jonathan, who's the MD, is with us today. Yeah. Um, but he's popped out. Yeah. He's been doing the conversions for four years. Right, right. So Venture, yeah. who are a big um, camper, van, yeah. motorhome, yeah, yeah, I heard of them. sell down in Daventry, that sort yeah. of way. Yeah. Um, they were selling his conversions. Right. And then kind of said, we yeah. ought to make this a brand. Yeah. Yeah, so, it's a good idea. You've got the, yeah. the red line image, haven't you? As uh, well? Absolutely. Yeah. So the yeah. red line has come from an amalgamation of. Yeah venture with yeah. Jonathan's company yeah. to produce Redline right. okay. um, and they um, and we are although I've got a Redline t-shirt on yeah. um, Prime Vehicle Sales who are one of their local right. retailers within okay. this area right. so we did go up to Harrogate yeah. as well yeah no it, it, um, it was one of the things that, that uh, you know took our fancy yeah no they I've are got to think how to get into there it's just, that way it, no it, you, it is, is that That's and it. there. Yeah. Okay, and then you lift it up to shut it again, yeah. which I've established this morning because <laughs> I said this one, I couldn't shut it, and yeah. then I was shown that and I was not and shutting it, and it, it was properly. That way. Yeah. Okay. So look, so yeah. you and lift it, it up. Lift, oh, sorry. Lift it up. Lift there up. There That's you go. it. Got it. Okay. Lift it up again. And it's yeah. It. Brilliant. Yeah. So it's just nice. It's a nice feeling here. Nice detail. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, all, what we would say is that the conversions are all the same. Yeah. So we've got price bands range between twenty-eight thousand yeah. and forty-four thousand. Yeah. The conversions in them are the same are layout. Exactly to... the same layout. Right. Okay. Made to exactly the yeah. same. Yeah. You can, you know, okay, this is dressed and made like this. Yeah. But actually, if you wanted something yeah. slightly different, so you can have your chrome <laughs> alloys or whatever. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and interior, if you wanted the interior different, you yeah. know, this van two weeks ago was a silver van. Right. And has then been yeah me uh, they've got the metal spray wheels, on it yeah, yeah new wheels put onto yeah. it and in the in red yeah. lines body shop and and been re yeah yeah okay and then with which i do love it yeah yeah um, so yeah. you know that you've you've got lots of different options mm -hmm. that you can have yeah yeah and they're all there right it's lovely okay okay thanks a bit of a beast isn't it mm. loads of storage in the back here shire conversions Sure, what sort of van this is? Shire conversion, so it's just under six meters. Front lounge. I think it's a Ford. Yeah, so it's the big Ford, isn't it? The um, Yeah, so three three thousand five hundred six hundred kilogram payload and it's under six meters. Storage space. Interesting layout. We've got sofa one side and a bigger sofa on the other side. Full cooker. I'm oh, sorry, com combi oven. Three burner hob. Quite a big fridge. Microwave sensible height. Hanging space. below. Let's have a look in here. And there's your bathroom. That's a huge sink. 
shower unit. And bench toilet. Shower curtains. Go all the way around. It's obviously a, u a used fan. Um, how would you stop things falling off those shelves at birds? I don't know. Well, bear in mind the doors will be closed. Yeah. And they've got little. I mean, they got lips on them. Oh. I think you'd probably end up putting like um, bungee straps or something in there. That's no. It, it would fall off there, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what you'd probably put in here though would be um, plastic boxes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like that couple was just saying, it probably would be better if you could put doors on it. So this is a Bilbo's space. £39,000. VW options, 30555 And Bilbo conversion options, 11000 so again, you've got their little nice little table sits out there. I don't know where you're going, Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> they twin R rib seats, aren't they? So the twin single beds it makes up, I guess. Yeah. Have a look. And I'll put that down there. And the table. Handy place to put me rucksack removable furniture so you can actually take the furniture out if you need to move house storage space up here I guess you have the bed up here if you wanted got like a fuel thing for storing things Quite basic. I don't know what that's doing. Drawers. Which I can't seem to move. And seat at the back. Yeah. That one's forty-five thousand. Uh, let's go and have a look at this one. Forty-seven thousand. 500. We we're just on our way out and uh, haven't seen any Malibus. Carthago Malibu 600 DB diesel manual, 130 brake horsepower engine. This is 47,000 at the show. So it's got this really nice wood effect, very upmarket. Big locker at the top, storing all your sleeping arrangements. It's on a Fiat table, that's a fairly heavy table, and it's got a slide out thing underneath. Looks like there's great big doors at the bottom, like that. This is a twin, twin hob. The sink. Massive drawers, great big drawers. There's your toilet with a fixed sink. And it's got this pull out toilet, and we saw this. I can't think of which one it was, it might have been the Glasgow show, and then we had this demonstrated. The toilet slides out, I won't do it now, but it slides out so you get some shower space in there. Closes off. Hang in space in here. Uh, good size or good width bed. I'm not sure about the the length, but it's a good size bed widthwise. Big fridges down here. Reasonable size, mid size fridge. And you've got steps up into the bed. Again, you have all these really nice lockers. They are very nice. 
quite reminiscent of some older motomes of that sort of dark red wood sort of finish. Yeah. So if you go to Go European Motomes at Dobby's Garden Centre, Watling Street, Gailey, Staffordshire, and have a look at this one. A little speakers up there. That's nice. Alloy wheels. So it's a little Roma Home R10 motorhome. Two seat belts. How many berth? Make up bed. It doesn't say how many berths, I guess one or two. That's so cute. <laughs> Got a little table at the back. You see seat folds down for a table. I think you've got somewhere to Yeah, you've got somewhere to store your you presume they lose in there. And this makes up into a single bed, so I guess that this would be ideal for someone who wants to go fishing or a singleton. Doesn't want to worry about the size of the moto. Sink there. Yeah, it's poppy size, isn't it? One man and his dog. This would do, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Bless you. Thirty-one thousand. Right, we're just about done. I think so. I think we've got enough video for about four videos here. I think. I, feel, I realised I filmed a lot of it in widescreen, so sorry about that. I only realised I couldn't see the screen. So, so I'm sorry, you'll have to put up with curvy edges. We've both got curvy edges anyway, haven't we? So, yeah. so, sorry? We're wilting a bit now. We're wilting, it's getting hot. So we're going to head back to the car, car and the van. Yeah. And, uh, see what we've got so if you don't hear from us soon that's because we haven't made another video yet <laughs> give us a like and subscribe i'll catch you soon